What's up guys, it's Ghost Hog, and today I want to talk about a new application or a new program that's been developed called Fightcade. And what Fightcade is, it's basically a carbon copy of GGPO. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos of GGPO, basically what GGPO is, it's a program that acts as an emulator that lets you play online such as Killera or something, but with a much better netcode for those who don't have the best of Wi-Fi like I do. So, um, the benefits of Fightcade, basically, you do not have to open ports for Fightcade. That is the main thing I want to get across before I get into anything else. With GGPO, in order to play online with other people, you have to make sure your ports are open and that you can, um, like, contact other people within GGPO. Say, you can be in the lobby and challenge someone, but if your ports aren't open, then you have, and you have to do all of that manually. The good thing about Fightcade is that you do not need to open anything. You can just download the application, set up your controller or keyboard to whatever game you want to play, and just go in and just challenge somebody. You can still watch matches, of course. It basically has the same layout as um, UGPO does. But another thing is that, another benefit is that the Fightcade game category, not category, variety, is much, 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 much larger than GGPO's. Such as, not, not even all of these games are fighting games, but just going through a random list of games supported by Fightcade are, as you're watching now, is um, SNK vs. Capcom, something GGPO did not have. This is not two, though, as much as people want it to be. But just going through the list, just naming some, they have Armored Warriors, Alpha Mission Alien vs. Predator, something called 8-Man Echo Fighters, they do have all the games that are on GGPO are also on here, like Breakers Revenge, Last Blade 2, Marvel vs. Capcom. They have Metal Slugs 2, 3, 4, 5, and X. And those, are, those are just some of the games. I have not even counted how many games are on here. Just know it's a really large list. The problem with this is that because Fight Kate is relatively new, there's not many people on. And. Fightcade is set up to be much more social than GGPO is, such as if you go into the lobby, you can see like um, how m many people are online, such as when you get into it, it says right now, currently there are 97 clients connected to the server, which means there are 97 people online right now. There are 13 ongoing games, that's total for all the games that are going on. Now, even with all the games here, 13 ongoing games isn't a lot. For that reason, it's because Fightcade, Fightcade is still new. I think it came out maybe 4 or 5 days ago. I'm not entirely sure on that. But, the main the main games being played right now, it's just like GGPO. It's going to be the mainstream arcade fighters, which will be Street Fighter 3rd Strike and King of Fighters 98 and 2002. Another thing is that even without being in um, in a lobby, you can see you can still see how many people are in that lobby. Such as um, right now, I'm in the Street Fighter Alpha 3 lobby. There are two people in here. Okay, three people, not including myself. Wait, no, two people in here, not including myself. So and it also has two on the um, side of the main rooms. So I can just look down the list, and it'll say Street Fighter Third Strike, Fight for the Future. There are 14 people in the lobby. In Vampire Savior, there is zero. In Street Fighter 2 Turbo, there are 19. So, like I said, it's pretty much the mainstream fighters that are being played. Now, with all, with all of these benefits, something I want to see more from um, Fight Gate, and this is very, very early in development, so I'm not even going to like complain that there isn't something already. They're doing the best, and they've done a great job already for... Like what they have so far. They've done a great job. Something I want to see in the future though. Is like being able to add someone as a friend. Because that was my main concern with GGPO. You would have great games for somebody. And you could only like. Just randomly meet up with them. Or you would need to add them or something else. Like Skype or whatever. However you guys want to keep in contact. And you could just. With a friends list it would be so much easier. To be social on here. And just get things done like get matches done 
It would even help like with tournaments or something like that. But that's that's something you can do without fight cave though. It would just make things easier just to set it up. But pretty much I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention and that's pretty much it. Just thought this was an interesting program and you guys should really check it out. Like you don't even have to really work to do anything. But it, of course, still early in development. There are some problems. I can't remember um, any off the top of my head because it's pretty much been working fine with me. But yeah, a lot, a bigger game variety, and just it's it's a neat program. I think you guys should really check it out. So yeah, make sure to add me on Skype. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Add me on Skype so we can play games on Calera. Such as Fighter's Destiny or Recruiting Kids, and that'll be it for me.